Gatanathawa is a fictional deity in the Tholhu mythos. The being first appeared in the short story Out of the Eons 1935 by H. P. Lovecraft and Hazel Heald. It is a large, amorphous, exceptionally hideous being comparable to Medusa. Summary Gatanathawa is a great old one. It is a huge, amorphous monstrosity, so hideous that anyone who gazes upon it or even a perfect replica is petrified the body taking on the consistency of leather and the brain preserved. Indefinitely, while fully aware, only the destruction of the subject's brain can free it. Gatanathawa is currently trapped underneath Mount Yadithgo in the sunken continent of Mu. He was brought to Earth from the planet Yugath Pluto in Lovecraft's fiction by an ancient, alien race. These are presumed to be the Migo, or Fungi from Yugath Harms, the Encyclopedia Tholiana p. 115, but st. Joshi, in his essay Lovecraft's Other Planets, argues that these beings are an older and perhaps indigenous race of Yugath. Citing Lovecraft's The Whisperer in Darkness 1931, Joshi notes that the structures on Yugath were built by some elder race, extinct and forgotten before the Migo arrived, wherefore, they Aliens Here are the alien spawn of the dark planet Yugath as quoted from out of the eons that brought Gatanathawa to Earth. Joshi, Lovecraft's Other Planets, selected papers on Lovecraft, P39, who built a colossal fortress atop Yadithgo and sealed Gatanathawa inside the mountain. Many attempted in vain to defeat Gatanathawa, most notably T. Yog, the high priest of Shubnagurath, whose story is recounted in Friedrich von Jun's Grimoire Yunos pre Kleichen Kulten or Nameless. Colts Robert E. Howard's answer to Lovecraft's Necronomicon. T. Yogg created a scroll that was supposed to protect him from the petrifying effect of gazing upon Gatanathawa, but was defeated after Gatanathawa's priests replaced it with a fake one. This occurred in the year of the Red Moon, which is 173,148 British Columbia according to Von Junts. Other Connections to the Mythos in Lynn Carter's Kothic legend cycle, Gatanathawa is said to be the firstborn of Tholho, his siblings, in order of birth, are Ithogtha, Zodomog, and Thila. Colin Wilson connected Gatanathawa to the alien, reptilian race of energy beings, the Loiger as the deity's servants. Appearance in other media Gatanathawa appeared in the Japanese TV series Ultraman Tika under the name Gatanathar, as an ancient evil that had defeated Ultraman Tika and his fellow giants in ancient times and destroyed the civilization present on Earth at the time. In the finale, he attempts to do the same to the modern world, and Tika challenges him and is again defeated, but is revived by humanity as Glitter Tika, who kills Gatanathar with a powerful beam from his color timer. This version of Gatanathawa bears some resemblance to a chimera of deep sea life, including the chambered Nautilus. Gatanathar also commands a race of lesser deities called the Zoager, based on Lovecraft's Loiger. After Gatanathar is defeated, the Zoager seemingly migrate away, with only the stronger, Shivato Zoager remaining in the South Pacific. His anger is transferred to one of Tika's former allies, Kamila, and her two followers, Hudra and Derm with Kamila being able to unlock a massive, demonic form called Demon Zoa. Gatanathawa appears in the Japanese anime Niariko Crawling with Love as a Little Girl, the show parodies the Lovecraft mythos with several prominent old ones appearing as aliens disguised as Japanese schoolgirls. Gatanathawa appears in the American urban fiction novel Dying Bites, by Don D. Brandt, as an elder god summoned to reshape the world. The representation is true to Lovecraft's original creation, 